And good morning, 6.45 Eastern Standard Time, as we are coming to you live, simulcast on Spreaker, uh, iPhone ready, and Spreecast. So thank you those of you who are joining us live already. Got some of our regulars in the Spreecast morning room. Anyone else that love to join us, that is just awesome. I'm Teresa Croft. This is Anna. I'm co-founder of the KingdomMessengerNetwork.com. Very passionate for two things. We know you have a message. want to help you spread it. We know you have a purpose. You have a destiny. We want to equip you with the Word of God. We'll equip you to fulfill it to the max. And uh, one thing we've been doing is uniting very seriously, even though we have kind of like to joke around at times, very seriously, though, uh, to lift up the Lord together, lift up our nation lift up the times that we live in and declare, decree and declare some of the goodness of the Lord over you, over your family, over your loved ones, over the, your country, over the world. We've got a worldwide audience today. So, uh, say good morning to you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us. Those are that we can see their faces. They can't, it's not like they're live on the camera, just so you know, in case someone's thinking, I don't want to join again. I'm doing okay. my curlers. Okay. So, we are ready for good news from the Word of God. Anna Croft, speak well, my daughter. Oh, clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with the voice of triumph. For the Lord Most High is awesome. He is great King over all the Thank earth. You, Jesus. He will subdue the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. He will choose our inheritance for us, the excellence of Jacob, whom he loves. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of triumph. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth, sing praises with understanding. God reigns over the nations. Mm. God sits on his holy throne. The princes of the people have gathered together, the people of God, for the shields of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. Mm. Well, Father God, we do just that. We come into your presence with praise and thanksgiving, Father. We thank you that we can declare who you are, that you're the, the king of all nations, king of all the earth. Hallelujah. So we salute ourselves to you, Father, and to salute by giving you our hearts. By speaking forth words that magnify your name. Hallelujah, Father. For God is the King of all the earth. We decree and declare you as King Jesus Christ as our Lord. In praise and thanksgiving. Hallelujah. I appreciate that, Patricia. I woke with victory in my heart and soul today. We stand in victory because of the victor, Jesus, who's alive in our heart. Thank you, Father. We love you. We bless you this morning. And we just simply glorify in you, Father. We shout to God with a voice of triumph. We thank you that you're Jehovah Nisi, the Lord God, our banner. And your banner over us is love. So we rejoice in you, Father, that you uh, love us. Even while we're in our mother's womb, you formed us. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. And we're made in your image. We're made to worship you. To lift up our uh, hands and our hearts. To honor you and to give you thanks. So Father God, we bless you today. Father, we thank you that you reign over the nations. We thank you that you're in control. We thank you for your supreme reign. We thank you that you cause all things to work together for good. To those who love you. To those who are called according to your purpose. We thank you for your promises, your great and precious promises that we can bank on every day. That we can even, even as we praise y'all, even as we speak the word of God, we're washing each other with the word, refreshing our souls. Nothing refreshes like the word of God. Thank you, Father, that that's you, that you are the word, Jesus is the word, and we can partake of it, we can eat the word, we can take it into our heart and our soul and find healing underneath your wings are healing I thank you that you sing over us and Lord I thank you that each name you have a special name and that our names carved in your heart and in your hand that you know every detail 
that we that matters to us. I thank you that you perfect that which concerns us. I thank you that you do all things well. Father, we come humbly in your presence just with a with a, a heart that's full, that wants to spill out in, in honor of you, Father. So we do so humbly. Everyone right where they are. They're, they're, they're making their room, their office, their bedroom, just a tabernacle of praise. Of lifting their hands and saying, you are holy, God. There is none like you. Mm, and we join our voices with the chorus in the heavenly realms. 24 hours a day, they're having a Holy Ghost party. And they're saying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Hallelujah. They're saying, worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive all glory and honor and praise and blessings. So we bless you, Father. We thank you, Father. We bless you. We bless you, Father. Mm. Great is our Lord and greatly to be praised. In the city of our God and his holy mountain, beautiful in elevation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. God is in her palace. He is known as her refuge. So we thank you that God is a very present help in time of trouble. You are our refuge, our rock of refuge. And we can get in there and hide, as Nelly was saying the other day. That we can find in you a place of peace, a place, place of rest. That we could hide in you and declare the Lord, the Lord, the gracious and compassionate God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness, maintaining love to thousands, and forgiving wickedness, rebellion, and sin. We can thank you that you're God whose eyes roam to and fro throughout the earth to strongly support those who are loyal, those who are committed to him. We can thank you that in the fear of you is wisdom and knowledge. We can thank you that if we ask for wisdom, you grant it. So, Father, we are asking for wisdom for each one that's listening here, asking you to overflow with your presence. Lord, overflow them with your peace. Overflow them with the abundance of your Holy Spirit so that they can shine and continue to shine, that they can be salt wherever they are. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for specific requests. We lift up a family of ours, the... Jean and uh, Taylor and Emma, Emma and, the baby. and Brie. Lily, Brie, what's that Brie. they call her? The whole family is in the process of being healed, in the process of being touched. But pray for Jean, the mother of sick babies, I remember it well. And she's, she's not doing well. So we pray and believe, we stand in the gap. Even now, Father, as we pray, we thank you for healing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, sweet Jesus. For others that need your healing touch, Lord, we lift them up to you. We thank you that no name is greater than your name. So under the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we lift up those that have been on our list for cancer. We added Mike to the list yesterday. Uh, Carly, uh, Jody, Nancy Jordan, is that her mom? Father, we continue to pray for deliverance and a rescue. We lift up Nicole this morning, Lord, and I thank you that she can rest in you and, and the battle that's going on is not great, that you are greater, that not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. So we lift up Nicole and Anna in that situation and the recovery of her grandson. Thank you, Father. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And someone just listening, whether it's live or recorded, and they just have a pressing need that's weighing them down. I just want to pray in the name of Jesus for you this morning. God knows your name. I don't have to know your name. And we just want to lift you up this morning. You know who you are. You may be even not even sure you can make it today. But I want to encourage you. And ask you and pray that you would allow the Lord to be the lifter of your head today. That you would fix your eyes on Jesus, not on the problem. You'd fix your eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of your faith. Yeah, he's the perfecter of you and your faith. Who for the joy set before him endured the cross, 
despising the shame, and even now is seated at the right hand of God. So he knows what it's like to be tempted. He knows like it's like to be flown out to the max. He knows what it's like at those days when you feel like someone's picked you up, saw a brick wall, and threw you. But my friend, let, let, let God restore you. Run to him. Let him be your refuge. And confess and forgive. Your key is to forgive. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. And, and know that he loves you. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Thank you, Father, for that precious heart. Yeah, you're precious to him. He knows all about you, and he loves you still. Thank you, Father. Whoa, Lord, we love you, and we bless you, and we praise you. Father God, we just pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you would continue to do your job of exposing wickedness and the rebellion that's going on. Not just in our country, but in those places of evil and wickedness. Father, I pray that you tear down the, and expose the Nephilim spirits that want to abuse children. Whether it's sex trafficking or abortion. Father, we just stand and take our and decree and declare that the earth and the fullness belongs to the Lord. Father, we just want to bring some of your mighty Holy Spirit to those dark places. Father, we do lift up our country. Our prayer focus today is uh, on our families as we're praying 40 days up until the election. Yes, the Lord rebuke you, any Satan and your spirits of wickedness and rebellion and sin. Lord, I, pull, I ask you in the name of Jesus to protect your precious families. I pray for families that would train up a child in the way he should go. I pray that you light the fire against light the fire in families to raise their children up in the way they should go and to take a stand in culture even as something as simple as Halloween coming up. Father, I pray for families that say no, not going to celebrate the day that is celebrated darkness. So Father, we pray and thank you for families. They're strong weapons in your hands so no wonder they're under attack. It makes me mad. The devil is a liar. So, Father, we are going to pull down the strongholds and pray and believe you, Father, to sweep that you'll be like, I don't know the chapter right now, it's Mike, uh, where you'll return the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to the Father, Malachi, chapter 4. That's what we'll, we'll decree and declare your word. Oh, thank you, Father, for moving in families and bringing restoration and healing. Thank you for moms and dads that will love each other like Christ loves the church and honor and respect. Thank you for those that maybe have been divorced. We lift their tender hearts up, Lord, and thank you that they can stand as pillars right where they are. And that you, God, they can still have an impact on young people. Uh, so, Father, I just thank you for the work you're doing in families, Father. And Father, I just thank you that even though the 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 fight and the culture wants to and the media wants to uh, impact families, I thank you that you, Father, can raise up godly men and women to use media to impact for positive. So I lift that need up. I lift that as we go closer towards our nation's uh, elections. And I thank you, Father, that this nation was founded on Judeo. Christian values and we don't have to be ashamed of that and that we could take a stand and say no to the wickedness no to the rebellion and say yes to you God so we are looking to you as we walk as who we are in Christ we take our kingdom authority and pray with that royalty pray with the knowledge that my God reigns just as Anna read Psalm 47 he is king of the nations so father God we salute you we thank you we we adhere to you and we give you the honor and the glory that's due your name this morning hallelujah mm. Anna would you pray for the young people I would. the youth today Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I just ask that I pray for lift up Amber's friend Peyton, Lord, and I just pray that everywhere she would go and everywhere she would turn that someone would 
want to talk about Jesus, Lord, and I pray that you would touch her heart and open her eyes. Yes, Lord. And give her a heart of flesh, not a heart of stone, that should be willing to hear and understand and comprehend what is the love that you have for her, yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. And I just lift up Amber right now, too, Father. I just pray that you would touch her and continue to do your healing touch in her life and Wendy's. And mm -hmm. Lord, I just pray for this youth in this generation that more people would rise up Mm -hmm. And say, you know, it's not cool to do drugs. I mean, Jesus is just so real and he's so worth it. Mm -hmm. So I just, I pray that more people would rise up yes. to be an impact. And yes. Thank you, Jesus. show that, you know, Jesus is so much better mm. than... <sighs> yes. I just thank you, Lord. Thank you, We Jesus. praise you, God, and we come into agreement with Mom's prayer. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Anna. And Lord, now we just pray in the name of Jesus that you would overflow with blessings. I pray for those that are, I could see their pictures. You may be here and I can't see you. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord would bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you, that you would walk confidently in his principles and his word. Lord, I thank you for Kathleen. I thank you you've set her apart for such a time as this. Lord, I thank you that you've equipped her and armed her with your spirit. I thank you, Father, that you've given Kathleen supernatural power to tear down the darkness and to have an impact in the lives that you're bringing across her. Thank you, Father, for this godly woman who is making a difference, who is salt right where she is in Australia. Thank you for Patricia, Father. I thank you that you woke her up with fire in her bones, Lord, the fire of your word, the rest, and the peace pray you continue to guide her, Lord, as she's an impact in her own family. Thank you that for marriage, that you're making it more fuller and richer for her. And in, in the midst of in the, the trying times, the midst of the circumstances, that she would rise up and rise up in you. Thank you for Heather, Father. Bring healing to that precious family of physical attacks that want to come. I pray that you protect Heather's mind, that she would renew it with the Word of God, that she'd be like Romans chapter 12, that her mind would be renewed and transformed as she reads your word, as she digs into your word. I pray for Tina, Father. I thank you that you've raised her up as a kingdom woman who wants to make a difference, who is making a difference. Father, I thank you that she steps in the place of your steps and that as she steps in obedience, you take care of all her needs. You take care of all the needs of this ministry that she has been set aside to be the, the leader, and I thank you, Father, in advance for provision for the vision of this place in the name of Jesus. Thank you for Wendy and Amber, Lord. I thank you for uh, your raising Wendy up to be that uh, marked difference at work and wherever where she goes. Father, I thank you that you know the desires of Wendy's heart whether that's in service to you or whether whatever. And I thank you you're going to fulfill those desires. Thank you that she cultivates herself in your word. And Amber, Lord, I thank you for that young, precious heart that wants to make a difference, that sees a hurting friend and says, we need to pray for her. I pray you continue to raise her up with love. And Father, I pray you'd be the heavenly father to her, a father that she can trust, that she can run to, that she can write notes to, that she can trust and believe and I just pray you wrap your arms around her this morning as she goes off to school in the name of Jesus father and anyone listening on Spreaker God bless you we pray that the, mag that, that the fullness of the Lord Jesus Christ would be yours this morning and those that you're listening recorded may the Lord direct your paths may you fix your eyes on him and may all your steps be the steps that are ordered by the Lord and not your flesh and finally, there is therefore no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. And I pray for my daughter, Anna. I thank you, Father, you're raising her up for such a time as this. I pray that you continue to fill her heart with your word. And I pray you give her patience and wisdom to walk as you've raised her up for such a time as this. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless you this morning. Um, I'm just trying to make sure. I, you know, I, I don't worry about how long you prayed, Teresa. I'm not going to worry how long I prayed. We love you guys this morning. I pray that you have a great day. And uh, the Lord bless you. And join us again. Spread the word on your walls on Facebook. Remind people of their prayer time. Just because 
I just think God can do mighty things, and He's going to continue to do so. If there's no one in this prayer room, we're still going to pray, because we know that uh, God can take this signal wherever He wants, worldwide. Thank you, Kathleen, for joining us this morning. It really is a blessing. I feel like we're touching, uh, God's touching the world with hearts. As Jesus is in you, and you pray, it's touching hearts. Tomorrow, let me give you an event. Today we're praying for the families, so as you go about today, let's lift up the families. Tomorrow we're going to pray for the justice, uh, and uh, yesterday we prayed for the situation with abortion. Let's continue to be earnest in prayer, earnest in speaking out, as our nation uh, goes closer to the elections. God bless you all. You are such a blessing to us, and we'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Good morning, and thanks for joining us on Spreaker. We sure appreciate you. Hey, join us tomorrow.